G'day everyone, James here with JWN Lawn Care and Landscaping bringing you another video. Good morning everyone, um, or good afternoon, good evening, good night, <laughs> um, whatever it is uh, where you are. Um, it is Sunday now, it's 9.08am, 10th of December, yep, happy days. Um, I've got a couple of videos ready for you guys, um, <coughs> We've um, I've got a video showing some new ramps I got uh, and a video some tall grass slashing let's have a look see if I can even just get that one rendering now um, what's there? that's the new ramps one yes um, <clears throat> yeah so we got some new ramps guys um, and I'll show you those in a moment um, I'm just trying to find the file new ramps alright here we go um so yeah um I know I haven't put anything up for a while hopefully by the time this video comes up I'll have a couple of others ready oh cock I still gotta put in music there oh crap alright um <clears throat> Okay then. Let's just get this over and done with. Um Yeah, so I um got some new ramps because if we go back here you might be able to see I've got our right on mower down here now. Um <coughs> so yeah, I'm using that today. I'm very lucky, um, because I sent Connor a message yesterday saying, look, you know, you're going to be good for tomorrow. And he said, oh, I don't think so. I've got a fever. He said he slept all day. And I thought, oh, shit, okay. Um, so I'm going to just see. What's that on the screen? Oh, no, it's nothing. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So, Connor was not good yesterday. And um, I was really hoping that he was going to be fine, obviously, for him uh, today. And... Thankfully, he sent me a message this morning saying he reckons it will be good, so he's going to be at our place soon. Um, one thing that really annoys me, as I said, it's around nine, ten past nine now. Um, because it's a weekend, I can't start until 9am, um, whereas on the weekdays I can start at 7, but you guys know me, I don't like to do that, um, just out of respect for the neighbours, because yeah, i got to make money, but... I also want to make sure I keep my customers because, you know, they're not going to be too happy if I'm starting up lawnmowers at the crack of dawn. Um, and, you know, that's understandable, right? Like, <laughs> I wouldn't be too happy if someone started revving mowers at 6 in the morning. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, that's what... Uh, let's do three and two there. Alright. Yeah, so... Um, just try I'm in the middle of editing this video, sorry guys. Um let's see how that is. This is editing in the making. So this is one of my new videos. Um it's gonna be up soon. <clears throat> so these are ramps here. So this is my editor. Lay out quickly while it's playing through. I'm just gonna watch it and make sure everything's good. Um, so pretty much I into here box. I pull my um, this is YouTube Movie Maker by the way. It cost me about seventy bucks or something. So it's pretty good for what it is. Um, so in here I can import. I click the plus button there and then add video, add audio, add image, that sort of thing. So I add in all my clips here. 
And so you can see I've got my standard intro video uh, clip that's just there all the time. So I chuck that in at the front and I basically just drag in all the clips one after the other. And then there's images, audio goes there. And um, yeah, I just drag things into the different spots here. If I want to put in text at a particular point, you guys must see that I put it in here. Um, subtitles, overlay, all that sort of thing. Um, so it's a pretty good editor for me. I know a lot of guys out there use like Adobe Premiere Pro or, you know, um, that, whatever the Apple one is. Um, I know there's lots of those around there, but they're rather extraordinary expenses. And honestly, this is a bit of an extra thing for me. Um, this doesn't really earn me any money, or well, it earns me a little bit, but really doesn't earn me anything <laughs> compared to my jobs, so... It's kind of just a little spare thing I do for you guys, um, because I am trying to, you know... Oh, cock. That's gone too far. Alright. Oh, fuck. That's what I hate. Whenever I try and click something after zooming in, it just goes rid of spads everywhere. Um, okay, drag this back. About there. Just click on there. Perfect. All right. <clears throat> Perfect. Right. So then we click render over here. And desktop. And look at YouTube. There we go. And so this will take ages, because um, that's what it does. And, um, so there's this message from Jim. Alright, so one of my customers. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's her husband, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, so, um, one of my customers isn't needing me for now, um, but they've said, um, you know, obviously they'll probably um, bring me back if they go away or that sort of thing. So that's fine. Um, you win customers, you lose customers. I'm not too worried about that because I, um, you know, have in the past two days I've got three calls and I've won all of those. Um, one is a very significant cleanup um, that I'm going to make a start on today. Hopefully, the other one is. Just a little job in Doncaster. Um, it's basically a little courtyard kind of thing for a unit. Um, and the other one I did already yesterday, and that's right next to um, Panorama Drive where I'm mowing already. Um, that's literally like one street away. Um, so I've won them, and I'm putting them on a three-week cycle so I can do them at the same time as the other three in there. Um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, we're we're looking good, guys. We're starting to get work coming in. Um, I'm really happy about that, actually. Um, as you can see, I got my whole schedule set up. We have one, two, three, four, five, not getting six, seven, eight, eight jobs to do today. And it's going to be interesting because originally Connor wasn't going to be able to come because he was sick. Um, and. I was going to have to do all those, and we've got a street Christmas party or something around lunchtime. So, and I've got basketball in the afternoon. So, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is going to try and get as many of these knocked out as I can now. I'm hoping to get all the way up to my seventh, if I can finish that one. Then I can go to this barbecue for a little bit in the street, and, um, might, yeah... I don't know, show you some stuff there possibly, and then we'll go and make a start on this other job, um, because this big clean up, it's, it's, oh, um, there's basically grass like that high, and, um, it's got, oh, lots of edging work, and, um, well, not edging as in, like, overgrown edges, it's just there's lots of work, because it's basically his backyard, and they've got, instead of, like, one big patch of grass, they've kind of got sections and concrete in between them. It's really weird, and they've got fruit trees scattered around, and oh, it's strange. 
Um, but I've won them, and so <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna do that. So because I've quoted them, so I'm doing mowing, trimming, edging, uh, weed spraying, tree pruning. Um, yes, there's a lot to do there. Um, so oh, I was like, <laughs> um, so we're gonna get going on those jobs. And, um, oh, yeah, I don't know, I'll see how we go, um, I'm not sure how everything's gonna pan out, um, I've got, this, this is a Sony Handycam, actually, I'll just quickly say, I know this is dragging on a bit, I'm gonna try and cut down on my talking, um, I'm going to say, this is currently being filmed on the Sony Handycam, so I just want to ask you guys, can you put a comment down below, can you tell the difference between this Sony Handycam and when I'm filming with the GoPro? Like, is there, I, I think there's a bit of a difference, I think the GoPro's a bit clearer maybe, um, but up to you guys, I mean, can you just like tell me, because I can never figure it out, um, so if you, if you guys can give me your opinion on that, that'd be really good, because... I'm always thinking, hmm, you know. I was speaking to Josh Gowles, in fact, JG Longcare. Some of you guys will probably remember him. Um, his channel's been disappeared for a while, but um, he sent me some Instagram messages. We were having a bit of a chat the other day, and he said, oh, you know, he should use the Handycam for, like, vlogging car kind of thing. And I thought, actually, yeah, that's a pretty good idea because it does have the flip-around screen. And, um, so, yeah. Um... <coughs> So we're going to wait around for Connor to get here. I'll quickly show you these ramps. Um, so, um, here they are. And they're from a place called Super Cheap Auto. So they've got this bit here, um, which you have to bolt on the top, which you've seen in that video. And that kind of... And it's got these red rope thingamabobs. And they kind of rest on the top. And then the rope I have when this is folded down, I hook them onto this bit. And so that kind of prevents them from sliding back and falling down um, when you're getting mowers on and off. I tried it because we were up at our farm to bring this down yesterday. And I actually um, I went up and down quite a few times trying to see how it would work. Uh, I brought down the... Uh, bloody, what is it? The Rockwell 16-inch pushy or 18-inch, whatever the hell it is. Um, because I just wanted to see, to take it in for a bit of a service maybe. So I can fit the 216 and the lawn tractor they're pretty good um, I'll show you guys the Rockwell I don't think you've um, I don't think I ever used that no I started YouTube videos once I got the HRX217 didn't I but there's a little bit of background info that Rockwell push mower was actually the one I started off with so I started my business using this piece of crap <laughs> yeah it's heavy it doesn't roll very well Tiny catcher, not very powerful, small fuel tank, but it got the job done. And for me, this is all I had. Um, the Morrison was still up at our farm. I didn't have any Honda lawnmowers, nothing like that. So this is why I used. And to be fair, for a cheeky push mower, this did really, really well. So I've got this down here for a bit, and I'm going to see... I might put Connor on it sometimes, see how he likes it. I actually don't mind it because it's got a nicer handlebars compared to that one. And it just, you know, looks a bit nicer. Looks a bit newer. Um, oh, and also I need to get a review on the Talon Hedge Trimmer done because I have sold that. Um, I'm waiting for the guy to organise the time with me to pick it up. But it is sold. So, bye bye Talon Hedge Trimmer. You will... Uh, not see, I don't think I really got much footage with that at all, if I got any, but yeah, so, this for what it is, it's a nice mower, um, again, it rolls pretty rubbish, but, like, it's hard to push, as compared to this one, which rolls really smoothly, this one, you're really tough fighting it, I don't know, I think there might be bearings in here, you can see they're a bit bent, I think that might be part of the problem, but, anyways, I'm going to quit talking because I know I spend way too long talking and um, we're going to wait for Connor to arrive. 
Alright guys, that's our first one for today. This hasn't been, my, I think, just check my record sheet in three months. And we have a little bit of grass to deal with. So, oh, I know, jeez. Um, let's give you an idea. Let's have a look. This is a ground level. <laughs> um, so, this is going to be fun, but thankfully, right on to the rescue. Connor's going to, there he is, look at him, big man himself. Um, so, he's going to trim out the back and grab the Honda and mow out there. And we're going to, um, yeah, I don't think I'll film at this one because I just can't be bothered. I won't get knocked out. Um, but, yeah, let's go. Alrighty guys, did our third job. Connor's trimming away. Um, yeah. This is, um, got the three properties to do here. And, uh, I don't know. Get cracking on them. Uh, that's the best you can do, I guess. And so Connor's trimming. Oh, you bloody idiot! You lost your cord. Oh, you're done. It's right out of. Cord. It's out of string. Yeah. Oh well, you know how to refill it. So Connor's gonna trim. I'm gonna edge. Uh, I can't see get the back of this house here with the 216. I'm just going to do all this with the ride on, so I'll chuck on the GoPro and um, get you some footage of that. So let's get going. <laughs>
I say I didn't get much filmed at um, Parallel Drive. We've just had lunch. Mm -hmm. What did you get, Connor? Oh, uh, bacon deluxe and bacon deluxe. Of the, yeah. We got the whole diabetes pack right there. Yeah, there's some doggos barking at us. Yeah. Bork. Woof woof. Bork bork. <laughs> so <coughs> we're at another property here. Um, Connor's gonna be slave boy and get on the whippy. I'm going to jump on the right on, buzz the front, and hopefully shut these dogs up. Um, so let's get going. just the other night so yeah it's pretty bad um, so we're gonna get rolling on it and um, yeah let's see how it goes Anyways, I've been sitting at home now. I just got back from basketball, as you can see. Um, I've been sitting here in that office, um, just adding up times for how long it took for each job. And um, what I found is I've actually saved a lot of time. So you can see for his first job I did, 
JDM film, took us an hour and 17 minutes. Um, all three properties, Panorama Drive took us two hours and four minutes. One out in Doncaster took 17. Uh, 29 for this guy here, um, who I haven't filmed before, I don't think. And Catherine, 26, who I filmed that last property. And also 48 minutes for the grass of that um, clean up. Um, so especially for these two here, that's um, a very, very good improvement, because especially Santos's one here, that normally take me about an hour and a bit um, with the Honda on my own, but we got down to 29 minutes with the ride on. And it's kind of there. So, um, let me just check quickly. Because I write in all the times here, you can see so from from 1:52 to 2:40 last time I did it, and that was with Connor with the Honda, and this time it was from 3:44 to 4:13, um, which is pretty impressive. Um, I must say I was very happy. Um, Obviously, you don't get that too much. Um, yeah, so. Let's just have a look. So, it took me 29 minutes this time, so about half an hour. Um, Compared to, I'm going to set you guys up here quickly. Um, I don't know what you guys can see there, but um, Oh, okay, no, so... First time I recorded it, it took about an hour on my own. Second time I did it with Connor, with the Honda, it took about 48 minutes. And then while I've just done it now, it took 29. So, you know, I'm saving a bit of time. Um, yeah, so... Took me about yeah twenty six minutes um, to do it this time, and it took um, last time I did it with Connor. It took about half an hour, so I saved like four minutes. All right, um, not bad. Uh, yeah, so look, I'm pretty happy with. How it's all, with how it's gone, um, and with you know the time saving. I mean, oh, geez, that's um, yeah. So I'm pretty happy. I mean, it doesn't save tons of time, obviously, but um, you know, it's a bit more time saved. I guess you know, if like it might only be taking ten minutes or something off each job, but so I'm just gonna stop all these and. But if it is that, um, even if it is only that 10 minutes over, you know, a whole day, it, it, um, it, it starts to add up. Um, so, you know, we ended up working for, we were mowing for 4 hours and 21 minutes today. Um, we're out for about 7, so you really got quite a bit of travel time, which is why it's really important. Um, lots of people just go, yippee, I've got a lot of properties to mow, let's go. Um, but it's really important to plan your route effectively so that you're not wasting too much time in travel because if you're going here and then there and then down here and then, it's just all over the place. 
um, you waste a lot of time. And for me, especially with Connor, because I am paying him hourly, um, I only get paid for the work I do, because I do I I am um, get paid by the job. I quote by the job. So from that's why I write down time into time out. So from the time I arrive at that job to the time when I'm ready to leave, that's the time I'm recording in this book. And um, but for Connor. He gets paid like the moment he turns up at my house. He gets he's starting to get paid, so um, cutting down travel time is really important for me. Um, we don't include lunch breaks normally because I often pay for lunch. So I figure, well, you know, give me a bit of a break on that. Um, but like you know, you gotta plan your route effectively, guys. Because I've I've had some times where I used to do it. I'd be going all over the place, and I thought, gee, you know, this really isn't, um, like, what I needed. Back a while ago, you know, when I wasn't employing Connor, I wasn't getting any help, um, to work for me, it was not as bad, because, um, you know, obviously, I was just working on my own, and I was the only one getting the money, so, whether it took me ten minutes or an hour, I still got the same money, but now with Connor, I'm really conscious of how long I spend on these jobs because I know that if I'm taking too long on them, I still only get the same amount of money, but I have to pay Connor more money. So um, I'm, I'm really cautious so I don't end up losing money on some of these jobs, which is why I have my annual you know price review, that kind of thing. So I've raised a whole ton of my clients. I spoke about that ages back when I did that. Um, that was in September. I was doing that because it's been a year since I started. Um, but yeah, you just, you know. And you got to remember, um, do your work fast, but do it well as well. Um, because I even, I know he's still, you know, getting the hang of things, but like once I'd left in specifically Catherine Santosh's jobs, um, where I'd had Connor do the blowing off and at Catherine's place the grass in the back was pretty long so I got the Honda out and um, pulled the mulch plug out just left the chute open and um, just ran over it like that with rear discharge and um, I got I got a message from her afterwards saying oh you know it looks like it hasn't been finished I said look you know it's been mowed um, it's been mowed as it always is um, it's a little bit annoying with Catherine's job actually because um, she wants all the grass bagged, so she wants it all in the green bin, but she doesn't have a green bin, <laughs> which makes it slightly finicky. Um, and so sometimes I've had to mulch it if it's short enough, but today it just wasn't, it wasn't short enough to mulch. I had to bag it, um, or do rear discharge, so I, I just didn't have anywhere to put the grass clippings, so I had to do rear discharge. I said to her, look, you know, this is the way Honda's designed their chutes. So I've cut all the grass. Um, it's just that because it was too long to mulch and I didn't have, I literally had no room to put the green bin on the trailer. So, um, I said, I just had to do it that way. I'm sorry, I would have held the chute up, but, you know, in such a confined space, as I'm sure you've seen in um, backyard before, it's a very tight area and, um, you know, there's lots of bits and pieces all around you. And I said, look, I could have held up the chute and it would have, you know, like I often do with big clean-up jobs, um, and it sprays the clippings further and disperses them evenly, but I said that would have, you know, got grass all over your windows and everything, I said I didn't want that, so um, I, I told Connor to blow out any clumps, but, you know, obviously he didn't um, get all of them. I mean, that's fine, I'm not too fussed because he's still learning, um, but I've just got to be, you know, confident that I'm doing my work well, I'm doing it quickly, I'm not taking tons of time, and, oh, there's Dad, uh, I'm not taking lots of time to do it, and I'm also being really good at what I do, because I, I say, you know, I provide high quality mowing services, it's like I've got to live up to that, um, because obviously, you know, I'm, I'm saying that I do that, and... I've got the equipment to do that, and I charge to do that, so I've got to make sure I actually deliver to the customer. And quite obviously, if I don't, they're going to get annoyed. So I have to make sure I'm always keeping my standard up, keeping because I say to Connor, what whatever you do, you know, it's we're we're the same team. Like we've got to 
do the same great quality work and he understands that and he does really really well and I'm really happy with how he's progressed because he came from not really you know he'd mow the lawn every now and then but he wasn't doing it the kind of level I'm doing it at and so you know he's he's learnt very quickly how to do a lot of different things like getting on the Honda and how to edge with a trimmer all that sort of, sort of thing so um, yeah I'm gonna I don't know I'm gonna finish up out here and maybe get one more of these videos going for you guys to do it sing overnight and then um, we'll see you in the next video I guess which will be soon because we do have that cleanup job to finish lots of pruning to do there so I'll try and show you some of that so until then uh, have a great night